What you guys got another video on Windows 11 start menu customization. Now we all know that the Windows 11 start menu sucks. It's not that great, but we can customize this and make this a lot better. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video because not everyone wants to spend money on Windows 11 start menu software and Windhawk offers a free solution for you to be able to uh, customize the start menu. So let's go ahead and download their software. And once we get this installed on the PC, we'll then be able to customize our Windows 11 start menu. So let's go ahead and install this onto the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and click install. And it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. It does take a bit of time, so be patient. And once that's done, we can then start to customize our start menu. Now there's a few start menus inside here which we can use and I'll show you these in a second once we get this open. So let's go ahead and open up the software. And once we're inside the software, you'll see something looking like this. What you need to do from here is you need to go to this website and this website here has the Windows 11 start menu styler. This is a guide that helps you style the start menu using the Windhawk software. And there's a loads of information inside here if you want to use this method. And there's quite a bit of information on the internet how you can go ahead and customize it. He's already got some preset ones inside here and I'll show you some of these in a second. But I'm gonna show you a much more better and advanced option for you which someone else has already created which you can use. And I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. So go to browse for mods and from here, we're gonna go in the search box here and I'm gonna do a quick search for Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. From here, you can see there's quite a few people that have downloaded and installed this. So let's go ahead and click on it and we'll get it installed on the system. So just click on the actual Windows 11 Styler by clicking on the details and you'll see there, there will be an install uh, button up here, which we can click on. There's also some information here about the source code that they use. If you want to go through and read some of that information, you can do if you know how to read code and you can get a good idea of what it's actually doing. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, install. It does give you a warning, proceed with care. This is because unfortunately we're living in 2025 where some people like to be malicious and add nasty code to certain applications. As far as I know, this one is pretty clean and it's pretty safe to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the system. Uh, so let's go ahead and let that go. And once that's done, we can take a look at some of the presets, but I'm gonna show you a really good advanced option, which someone has already gone through the trouble of actually creating the code for you. So let's take a look at the presets first, and I'll show you that part a little bit later. So once we've got it installed, we can go to the settings pane right here, Inside the settings pane, there's a theme section, and this is where all the themes are. So these are the preset ones that have been configured. You can customize them, but again, it is pretty difficult to understand what you're doing here if you are not familiar with how to customize this sort of stuff. So I would leave that to the experts and just use these standard themes that have been created by other people. So you can see here side by side two, this gives you a menu looking something like this, which isn't too uh, bad. You could use something like this, which is better than what uh, Windows has to offer. But don't worry, there will be better ones than this to use a little bit later on in the video. If you want to skip forward to that, you can do. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of more of these. So you can see this is the more minimal look for this particular type of setup. That's quite a nice little set up one here you've got your pin stuff on the right and all your apps listed down on the left next let's go to the windows 10 one here and take a look at this one uh, this gives you a windows 10 look and that looks pretty tidy but again wait until you see this next one that is coming up real soon because i can tell you it makes a massive difference to the windows 11 start menu so i'm going to set this to none uh, because we're not going to use any of the built-in themes here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go over and leave this as stock, but leave the software installed and head over to winstartheme.com. Uh, and there is the code right here that we can use. So I've copied the code from his website, and we're going to go to the Advanced tab here. And you can see inside here we have the theme set to None. Go to Advanced, and then come down to where it says Mod Settings. 
He's already gone through all of the trouble to write this code out for you. So we're going to delete the code here and we're going to paste in his code inside there. So make sure you delete the old code first, paste in his code, and then we can take a look at the start menu. And look at that. That looks a lot better. We've got the apps here on the left hand side. We have the search box up the top. And we also have our pinned apps here, but we can customize this even further. We have our start button right here as well. But what I want to do is I want this floating as well. And he also has a floating option here. So let's copy the code here again from his website. Go back to the software. I'm going to delete the code in the mod settings box right here. So let's go ahead and delete all of this right here. And click delete and paste in the floating code that he has right here and click save. And that is pretty much it. We now have a really nice looking start menu. And why can't Windows or Microsoft do this to the start menu if people like this can do it uh, using third party software and code? I don't understand it. I really don't. But this looks much nicer. It hasn't cost you a penny. And what we're going to do here is customize it just a little bit further here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the download section here. I'm just going to change this wallpaper to something a little bit more uh, darker and a user space sort of theme here. And I think that will look nice. Again, you can use whatever wallpapers you like, but there's tons of them on our Discord server. If you want to take a look at those, the link is in the video description. And I think I'll leave this one on here. And what I'm going to do here is just customize it a little bit more by going into the settings panel and personalization. So let's go to the settings panel here. And on the left hand side, we can click on the personalization. And from here, we're going to go down to where it says uh, start. Click on the start icon here. Make sure these are all turned off as they are right here. And from here, we're going to go to the folders area right here. Click on this one. And this will open up this option. And now we can add in some extra options along the bottom of our uh, menu here, which will make it a lot easier to navigate and use your start menu. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right here and enable these. You can enable which ones you want along the bottom. I'm going to do all of them just for this video. And you can see them listed all here. And that finishes it off lovely. We've got a nice floating start menu. And this will give you shortcuts to all of your favorite locations that you use on a regular basis that makes things a lot easier. So there is the end result. I think it's a real nice look. Big shout out to vinstarthemes.com for leaving the code on their website. I really do appreciate that. That looks absolutely awesome. And it's not going to cost you anything. And you can get a nice looking start menu like this. And I think that looks pretty nice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below whether you like to do something like this for your start menu. I do believe that this is probably the best free option available out there. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Anyway, have a lovely weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on our Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.